Yeah, no good nick. No good nick. Like the, the emphasis on uh, no, no good nick. Like, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, like G-U-T. G-U-T. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And they're like, no good nick? Hey, no good nick. Can I get a no good nick? You're on D7, no good nick. I'm sorry. We're getting into game one here. We have an exciting match uh, between Earl and the Pac-Man. They actually played in Winterside as well. Uh, close set from uh, both players. Yeah, we're going to see some wonky Pac-Man stuff. I actually know next to nothing about what Pac-Man do, but I'm always a fan to watch what uh, crafty setups that they'll come up with. Oh my goodness, yep! My god! Surprising! Oh, and he's gonna make it back, he's gonna get back. Oh, wow! Oh, missed timing from Earl. What we saw a lot from last game was uh, Earl's just insane edge guard abilities. Uh, just really get put to the test with how yeah. wonky uh, Pac-Man's recovery can be. And that killed him at 70%. That is, you know what it sure did? This is a game that we play for fun and we need to remember that. No, I play for... <laughs> what, for Pure? tournament winning scratch game? Yes. How, how much you, how much you walk away with today? I want to win. I walked away with uh, some experience. <laughs> for next time, for next time. That's going to destroy him. Ooh, rough, man. Two stocks already going to that, uh, going to that side special. I do not know the name of it. I'm going to be honest. I don't know it either. <laughs> well, yeah, we're just gonna call it side B for now. Sorry, folks. <laughs> sorry to the. Sorry to all seven Pac-Man players. It is past your guys' bedtime, so why are you watching this right now? Okay, using the apple to stop the hydrant. All of them just really not knowing what to do. It's like so weird, like, because Pac-Man is sort of a zoning. Like, obviously he's all gimmick, but he's like sort of a zoning character, sort of not. His fair is better in this game. It leads to itself. Especially off stage, same thing with back air and off air. Oh, and the Galaga, yeah. As one of the more wonky tools that he can use to just set you up in the air. Yeah. Oh. Great tech. Gonna get to fair for it right afterward, but uh, it's actually really interesting. Uh, games one, two, and three were were pretty decently in Earl's favor. He he got caught up in a couple very flashy combos, but for the most part, he had a good grasp of what was going on. So it's interesting to see right now. It seems like PC3X has really changed up his approach. He's not uh, not going, not not trying to be as fancy, not, not trying to be as cute now. He's easier to win. Yeah, definitely trying to use uh, the advantage of his bonus fruit to zone out uh, Earl of Am. and Trying to get in as safely as possible. Oh, nice scoop of down air to back air. And oh, oh God, yeah. so deep. That was definitely going to do it for pac -Man. Okay, Elvam realizing that the bell is just active for oh. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. no, no, no. We got good damage. We got good damage. Oh, oh, wow. And the upbeat not able to. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I thought he would throw it down. Yeah, I thought he was going to actually try to Z drop it there, but Elvam trying to be very careful here. Make this knock count because it is last knock, last hit right now. Oh, my God. The Hydra. Look oh at these. Oh, great mix ups from P. Uh, PC3X. Yeah, he's doing a beautiful job mixing up his recovery when he's in the air. And uh, Earl took a lot of stocks last game or last set with uh, with the drop down drop down counters. Oh, that apple stays active. I said it last set. I'll say it again. Lucina looking like a doctor right now because that apple's keeping her away. <laughs> oh my goodness. It wasn't funny then. It's not funny now. But I'm gonna keep saying it. Because you guys keep letting me be on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Hopping in the game too. This is. This, this I don't know about this. I don't know about this at all. I. I. I you know what? I saw his set. His in a set with Frosty. What oh, okay. the? What? Yeah, he wants to flood him. Bro, what? Oh my god. That I mean, understandably, I'm um, surprised that Earl opted to stay with it, because yeah, Earl, Earl had the final say. On so, the story of all things, I don't think this... Wait, no, this uh, no, Pac-Man won game one. Yes. Uh, PC3X PC3X won game one. PC3X did win game one. Um, see, look at that. Are, are those slants already... Well, this is uh, Earl of M's counter break, but I don't know... I th doesn't the slants make it ha uh, harder for Prom to recover? I think so. I, I'm, I'm a little confused about this because I'm also surprised that he opted to stick with Krom because since since it is uh, since since he lost game one, he has the option to say, "Oh, you're going Mario. I'm gonna switch back to Lucina." And That's I feel true. like that would give him much more advantage. But he must just be confident on his Krom. Nice, nice, nice attack cancel back air out of that jab. Yep. 
And another one, he caught him jumping. It hey, would uh, hit him uh, with Zyles. the back air. Another one. Um, PC3X1 game one. All good. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to do the uh, double edge dance on him right there. Okay. Minding his business, making sure he doesn't get hit by the uh, Mario F Smash. Yeah. And you yeah. know what? While, while there is that uh, that very easy edge guard, uh, multiple options really uh, that Mario can oh. do against Krom. At the same time, Krom is still a sortie, and Krom's a very fast one at that, so he can get in and out really quickly, and Mario can kind of struggle with his, uh, with his gangly little limbs. Yeah, especially in the beautifully placed uh, falling up there and then getting another aerial string with the fair. He's going to be able to make it back, yep. Yeah, this, it, it, I don't know, this just kind of seems way more in Earl's comfort zone, especially because he's played numerous sets against Super Dan as well. Oh yeah, definitely. But maybe it's something he's trying to try as well. Uh, just trying to mix up his play style so that even if he does lose game one, maybe he can go back to Pac-Man. I mean, this steal out another game. This is a hell of a time to experiment. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. And here we go, the Crom Cromp chance. Something I've never he heard before. Yeah, most people don't root for Crom. <laughs> <laughs> you are, like, you are right. Oh man. Yep. Upper. Oh, oh, nice. Just baits out that air dodge. Stone cold with that forward tilt. Yeah. Earl Bam just oh. showing extreme patience around uh, PC3 with Mario. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna eat that up smash. Yeah, that back air will finally close out that first stock, but PC3 uh, got, got a bit of a ways to work back. Got a lot. Of yeah. Ways. Ooh. Yeah, I like what he did there. He did the uh, sliding forward tilt. So good on all these sorty characters. Doesn't matter, Mario's there. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, that'll be. Uh, and we game two, going back to Earl again. I don't know how I feel about that switch. I don't know either, but I, I think it's because uh, he felt that against Krom, it might be harder to uh, use Pac-Man to get in because Krom, like you said, is faster. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, and he's going to go back to Lucina. I don't disagree with it at all because Lucina was putting in the work as well. He just needs to uh, understand how Pac-Man recovers, but Pac-Man could recover in like just the wonkiest ways. He can use the the dots, the side B, or he can just try and recover really low with up B. It's like it's really his choice. I'm just I'm just looking at this right now, and I'm like, who put the clip of Game One back on? <laughs> you know, we're back to Stadium, we're back to Lucina and Pac-Man. It's like it's like Game Two is just like a weird little like alternate storyline. It was a uh, it was a PTSD flash moment. Oh my god. Fan Theory Brave. Oh, oh that's and that, yeah, that fair will do it. Great job. Just threw out so many things. He threw out the cherries, threw out the hydrant, and then just dropped down with a simple and effective fair. Yeah, I even like how for extra, me extra measure, PC3X uh, made sure that his trampoline was nowhere near Earl of End so that he didn't even get a chance to think about using the trampoline to make it back up. Yeah, I'm wondering if I, I know I, I know Earl's proven to be pretty proficient. <laughs> God, bonus root not saving him from the hundred there. As yep, Earl of M has the Galaga and he evens up the stocks here. Only taking 25%. Yeah. The hydrant is out. You got to be very careful with it. Okay, now it's gone. I, oh, here we go, Galaga yeah. combos. Yeah. I wow. love it. Big percent. Um, but I, I've seen Earl edge guard the. Uh, Wow. The, the side special really well with counter, yeah. but I haven't seen him do it once for up B. Oh I'm wondering if he knows that that's got a hitbox. Biggest jump. Wow. Great. Oh, greedy side B from Pac-Man trying to lock up that stun. Okay. I like what he's doing. Earl Vim just being able to go out there, edge guard, make it back, and he still has the stage advantage. Pressing on super hard here. Oh, no. Okay, I like it. That was not... Oh. oh. That's going to be big damage. Big death. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, just like that. Earl of M now taking the lead here, but he's at a really high percent. What? Oh my goodness. Okay. Good awareness from Earl of M, knowing that shield is the best option. Even if he was going to get grabbed, it wasn't gonna, nothing was going to happen that was going to end that stock there. Able to avoid the apple. Yeah, doesn't even want to try to parry the hydrant with the back throw. Yeah, might do it. Yeah. A couple more percent. Oh my goodness, avoiding everything nice with that Nair. Nice trade with the Nair, but she could still make it back. Okay. Wow. 
great off smash to, uh, as a nice anti air. Yeah, I borrowed that from Wolf. <laughs> Scooping him from the side. Nice. I like that he just uses the Hydrant as a pseudo wall, and there's not really too much uh, that Hydrant can do. Yeah, and um, I like the same thing from PC3X. He knows the distance where that even if his opponent were to hit the Hydrant back at him, uh, it was, it's not going to hit him. It would just sit there and charge the fruit in your face and be like, yeah, I know exactly what I'm charging up next, and I'm going to hit you with it because you tried to punish the Hydrant. Don't do that. Side note, I will he, punish you for he, that. He has a key. Well, he had a key. Uh, he no longer has that key. That key is gone. That key is out of a conversation. Don't even bring up the key. Where was the key? They, he has they, lost they, the key to his I don't know what you're talking about. He, <laughs> what's the key? I don't, oh. I don't know. Oh, no. Got him way off stage there. That's big good. back air. All right, Earl. Looking uh, lo looking back to form here. This game, to, uh, with that uh, game three going, going his way. Yeah, but now both, now, um, stadium is out of the question. Both of these characters have one on it, full SDR. Smashville. And Smashville is a choice. I don't disagree with this one either. Now the Hydrant is going to be a, a better zoning tool. Because it's going to be like, it's going to be an area where you can't go to. And uh, we'll see how PC3X is able to adjust this, this Lucina because Earl of M was actually just all over him this whole time. He's just able to fair him. Nair, and like this, keep up the pressure. N make sure that PC3X just didn't get any space to start up anything. Ooh, catches the, catches the Galaga himself. Yep. But just as quickly as it came out, wow, as quickly big as it left. combos. Come out from both sides, too. Yeah, real back and forth here in this, uh, this game four. Ooh, yeah, I was looking for the downer spike, but knowing that he wasn't gonna get it, trying to have, oh, wow. Oh, nice way to punish. Oh. He didn't make it back to he wanted that stage fight, but what's gonna happen? Ooh! Getting a little bit of a parry here. Often to grab a little too too late. And oh my god. That could have spelled his demise again. The shield break. Oh nice. Did the did the orange hit the, the orange hit the hydrant and popped up and then it hit uh Gosh. Batman. This game's this game's fun and cool and Earl of M's IQ is just off the charts right now in this matchup. Yeah. And this is such an awkward guess. Ooh. Oh Couldn't my goodness. Tech. He's been pretty good about those techs in general. I don't think he expected to get knocked into the stage there. No, that was completely unexpected. Earl Vem just baiting him super hard, but... That'll do a great job with the, with the bell. Yeah, and especially at that high percent. It's just going to put you in so much hit stun that... Oh, the platform kind of messing up the, uh, the old Galaga. Sometimes that's actually what they want, so they, they can re-grab it, throw it, re-grab it, and just like get you in a 40% uh, combo loop. But I guess that's not what PC3X wanted there. Oh, getting... I think Ooh. he wanted to do it, but the platform just kind of ate the projectile. Mm. Oh my oh. god, how did the back air even work? Uh, yeah, I'm so surprised, man. Yeah, Erlem showing a lot more... Uh, that that hydra, if that hydrant hit, that would have been a stock. Yeah, he's showing a lot more confidence, especially in this game, knowing how to just... Oh, that's dead. That's dead. Great drop down. Both of these... No, well, no, no. <laughs> trying to stay away, didn't want to get clipped by an uppy. Yeah, very I smart understand there. It. And got the melon charge, I think. Right? Nair into, Nair one into off smash, like <laughs> it, and that up tilt will send that hydrant in such a depressive angle. Yeah, PC, I think PC3X thought that it was his hydrant that uh, that he got the hit, the final hit, but unfortunately for him, that's not what happened. Ooh, okay. I like it. He's trying to mix up his uh, combo potential. Only doing one up air, but Earl of M swinging right back. Ooh. He can't roll into that. Nice. <laughs> God, that cherry, it's it, it, its so niche in its use, but the angle it goes at is so brutal. Yeah, especially off the stage there, almost able to uh, take away Earl of M's recovery here. Oh, yeah, pc 3 x did not want to be on the ledge there. A couple more percent, and uh, that's going to be his What's hit starter? for him. Oh, Ford's back putting him way off stage. Yeah, Earl of M knowing that he's not going to get that back air as easily on PC3X as he would other opponents. So he's going to have to find some other way. The down tilt, he can just try and rack up the percent here. And F-Smash will do it, but will he be able to get the read? 
Ooh, yeah, that Nair is not Tur safe. His tournament life is, is on the line right now. It'll get Ooh. the F smash, and that'll be it. They're going to game five here. PC3X, great job maintaining composure and finding finding that moment. Yeah, and literally getting the edge hit of the ghost as it, like, barely extended it all the way out every, there. Everything has tippers, dog, even ghosts. <laughs> even spooky oh. ghosts. Ooh. Yeah, Earl Van looking flustered right now, too. Neo. Oh, yeah. Shout outs to Neo. He, ch he choked today. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> nah, but he's been having amazing runs lately. Tilts, man. Sometimes you just get tilted. He had to face Nuck. Game & Watch is so annoying. Like, Luigi's Game annoying, Watch. but... Game & Game Watch, Watch is a hell, hell of a lot more annoying. Palo, like yeah. The most oh tilted characters in the game, dude. Oh I, I've never... Multi-hits huh. have never bugged me more than just when huh. I get hit by four nares. Ah, switching you know, to the Chrom again for this. I I kind of like it. Because, again, you kind of you need to get around these projectiles. Also, I'm going to go back to Smashville. Yeah, it's definitely going to aid Chrom and killing a lot earlier. Especially with the double-edged dance. Now he has a kill... A reliable uh, kill side beat move, you know, instead of trying to fish for a smash attack. That's the only thing Lucina doesn't have uh, that Chrom actually has, because then he has F tilt that kills, whereas Lucina's would just push you off. Yeah. So. And right now the switch looking like it was pretty smart. Yeah. Uh, PC3X sitting at a at a hefty 99.9. My goodness, get this man to 100. Uh, how about 127 and the stock? My how about, God. How about deletion? <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Okay, I, I was scared. He I was scared dog. Yeah, and right now he's already lapped him in percent. This is uh this this character change is really throwing PC3X off. I don't think he has a he has a, a an easy answer to this. No, not at all. Because like Chrom is just so good in the air and on the ground. Yeah, he's just such a good zone breaker and Pac-Man needs his zone. Right his only, his only sense of peace is off the stage, though, because... Yeah, literally, oh, and that'll be a second stock on. Yeah, looking Ooh. grim here for PC3X. The song, the, the, the music of the stage softening just a little bit. It, it fits the moment. Yeah. Definitely a, a sad serenade that's going on here. How? The up air just changed his direction. Well, he's he going to be able to make it back. He's still going to be able to make it back. That yeah, and you can't challenge it because he'll just get sucked right into it. I know. It's so Big old hate for <laughs> With the Hydrant. Yeah, mixing I, up. Hydrant trying to do some work. Yeah, mixing up Earl himself. You would think that he would try and place it down more too to uh, mess up. Uh, okay. Hey, that'll mess it up. But yeah, PC3X got a lot of work to do, man. He's, he's down on his last stock again. And 74% still... Okay, two yeah. stocks to deal with. Kill person here. Yeah, jab into jab into back air should do it. Actually, opting to go for a quick. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just punishes the missed tech, and that'll be game five. Pretty decisively going to Earl. He'll be going to lose his finals. Yep. And right now we're waiting against Snoofu versus Dan. I must. I guess that wrapped up. So now it's Dan. I don't think, I don't think Snoofu's still in. Oh. Okay, so they're just getting uh, warm-ups in. But it looks like it's going to be Dan versus Earl of M. That's exactly what Earl of M didn't want. Was Wait, it was was Dan versus Snoofle happening? No. Oh, okay, okay. My bad, sorry, Chad. 